All right, everybody, how's it going? Uh, got a nice day here finally, and uh, got Whitney and baby Reese back here. We're gonna do a little shed hunting today, look for some deer antlers. Uh, we've only been out one other time, Whitney and I did, um, earlier in the year, and we didn't find anything. Um, it was such a mild winter this year around here that the deer were really holding their antlers for a long time. Um, they're finally starting to drop really good. So we're gonna get in here. This is Reese's first ever shed hunt. We're gonna get in here and hopefully find a few antlers. Um, this is actually the farm that I killed my deer um, in Kansas this year uh, with the 4570 Henry. So hopefully we can find some antlers in here. There are some other pretty good bucks in here. Maybe we can find them. See what happens. Alright guys, this is probably looking a little bit familiar to you. Um, this is the farm, like I said, that I killed my Kansas deer on with the Henry 4570. Um, I left some standing beans in here. Um, I actually paid our farmer that farms this for us to leave a little bit stand right here in the center field. And it has helped these deer through the winter for sure. Um, there's a ton of food out here and a ton of tracks coming into this. So Whitney and Reese are gonna kind of walk this side and I'm gonna walk up this side and see if we can't find some antlers. There's a ton of deer sign in here. There's a lot of deer in here this year. So uh, hopefully we can find a few. Right, guys we just made it to the top of this bean field up here just kind of a little bedding area over here i'm on one side and whitney's on the other i just kind of snuck up here to look at the edge of the field between us and the neighbors here and uh, i just looked over and i'm pretty sure whitney found something over here on the other side and unfortunately well fortunately and unfortunately it's not a shed um but it's a deadhead and i think it's a deer that my dad shot um but I'd actually hit a deer with a bow over here this year in the exact same field that I shot mine. And uh, we were never able to find him. We looked everywhere. Um, I actually got pictures of him two weeks after he hit him. And uh, anyway, I think Whitney found him. So he lived for a while, but uh, didn't end up making it completely. But luckily, like I said, I think Whitney just found him. So. I'm going to walk over here, across the creek here, and uh, see what he looks like. Well, that's actually not the deer my dad shot. So I was wrong. I don't know what deer that is. That deer probably died uh, during velvet. As you can see, it's all busted and brittle. So that's probably an EHD deer. That deer died during EHD during the summer, or maybe not EHD, I mean it's possible, but that deer for sure died in velvet. Um, his antlers are super porous, and as you can see, he hasn't rubbed on anything either. So, huh, I'll be darned. That's kind of crazy. Would have been a nice deer. Good job, Reese. <laughs> you found your first antlers. Unfortunately, that's not what we uh, wanted, but uh, 
anyway, that's a find. It's a find. <laughs> Tell you what guys, I'm striking out here. Whitney just yelled at me and they found an actual shed over here. They found a dead head in a shed. Reesey must be good luck. Huh? <laughs> Whitney just said she needs her because she never finds them. I'm gonna see if I can sneak across all this mud and muck. Here's another dead deer right here, a doe. We might have had a little bit of EHD in here. For those of you that don't know what EHD is, it's a, um, as you can see, we're kind of in a marshy area. Um, on certain years in these marshy areas like this, um, there's a little midge that can actually um, carry a disease. When it bites the deer, the deer can get the disease and uh, it actually pretty well makes them go brain dead. So yeah, Whitney found, it's an old one, but it's a shed. You found an old one here, not very like, like last, last year. year. That thing's been there a long time. Yeah, it has. we've walked by that and we didn't see it. What the heck? Greasy. <laughs> You're just kicking butt today. What do you think? Good job, Easter. Well, guys, so far. We've only found that uh, old dead head, and uh, well not old, it was from this last summer probably, and that really old shed. Um, Reese is starting to get pretty sleepy, so Whitney's gonna head back to the truck. Um, I'm clear up here at the top end of the farm. Um, just kinda walking this little grass strip in between these two fields, heading over to this other side where this other draw is, but uh, I'm gonna sneak over here and just kinda walk down the edge and head back to the truck as well but uh hopefully i can find one or two on the way if not we uh might try tomorrow see if we can't find some more somewhere else see what happens i don't know um usually we have a lot of good luck on this farm that's why we came here but like i said the bucks were holding uh, a lot later than normal so i don't know if they're just dropping in different places than they normally do or Maybe some of them are still holding. I don't know. We'll see. But hopefully I can find one or two on the way out of here. Alright guys, I'm just coming up out of the draw here. I'm pretty sure I just found a really nice looking shed right here. It's actually a deer I recognize. Turn this around here. It's actually a deer I recognize. I got pictures of this deer here this year over in those standing beans. He's actually a lot better deer than I thought. Real pretty deer. Awesome. On the board. I'd love to find his other side. Might look around right in here, and see if I can't find it. <laughs> Shit, I All right guys, I just uh, stopped at the truck there on my way through and uh, dropped off that antler. Reese is sound asleep, sitting in the truck with Whitney. Um, there's just one more little finger here. I wanted to walk um, just to make sure. They kind of like the bed right in here in between these two fields at night. Um, and a lot of times in beds you can find antlers and stuff like that when they stand up, shake off, they'll pop them off. So just kind of sneaking through here real quick. But uh, if I find another one, I'll show it to you. If not, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Hunt with Henry. I enjoy bringing it to you as always. Um, hope you and your family and everybody staying safe and uh, enjoying your time together, I guess, uh, during this crazy time that we got going on. But uh, until next time, guys, God bless. And remember, it's not made in America. It's not going to be made at all. We'll see you next time, guys.